Hi there, this is Terry from Stamping Magic. Welcome back to my channel. Today's project is another stack of cows card. Now, if you watched my previous video, you know I've already created one of these cards. But for that one, I used a masking technique with the Stamparatus. Now, the cards I produced before are completely flat. They have no dimension at all. The card I'm going to produce today has a lot more dimension. So although the cards look very similar, they're actually created in completely different ways. So let's get started. Now, of course, I'm using the Over the Moon stamp set again, and these three cute cow images, and also the grass image. I'm going to stamp on some of our normal weight Whisper White and I'm using Memento Tuxedo Black ink. So I'm just going to stamp each cow on its own piece of Whisper White. I'm going to use the Stamping Blends alcohol markers to colour these images, but I'm just going to do one on camera. I'm going to be using Soft Suede, Highland Heather and the Light Petal Pink. Now I'm going to start with the Petal Pink and I'm going to colour the inside of the ears and also the front portion of the face. Then, using the dark soft suede marker, I'm going to colour his hair, his tail, or just the end of the tail, the hooves and all the patches on his body, or as well as his nostrils. I'm then going to switch to the light soft suede and I'm going to fill in all the areas that are still white around all the patches. Um, I'm not doing any blending as such on this, I'm just doing solid colouring. The only part of the image I will blend is when I come to do the cowbell. Lastly, I'll switch to the light Highland Heather and just fill in that cowbell and then add just a little bit of detail with the dark before switching back to the light just to blend them together. There aren't any coordinating dies for these images so they will all have to be cut out by hand. Now I'm cutting around my image and I'm leaving a tiny border of white showing. If you have problems cutting out, you'll find that leaving a little border around it is much easier than trying to follow the line, the outside line exactly. These are my images cut out. Now I coloured the middle one with crumb cake instead of soft suede. And this is how they'll stack together. I'm going to stamp my background layer next and I'm using the large stamp from the Love What You Do stamp set. I'm going to stamp this in one of our new ink colours. 
Seaside Spray. Now I'm stamping on a foam mat because the stamp itself is photopolymer so there's no cushion of sponge underneath the stamp itself. So I'm inking up my stamp and then I'm going to stamp off once before stamping onto my Whisper White layer. And then I'll ink it up again, stamp it off again, and then stamp onto my card. I'm going to place my bottom cow into position just so I can gauge where I want to stamp the grass and I'm going to use Call Me Clover for this then taking one of our blender pens I'm going to pick up the ink from the stamped grass and just drag it downward slightly just to fill in that area and these pens they just contain a clear fluid that helps you colour with. And finally for this panel I'm going to run it through the die cutting machine with the subtle embossing folder and this adds a lovely texture to the card. Hopefully you can see that here. I've gone ahead and added dimensionals to the reverse of each of the images. Now you don't want to cover them completely. Um, the images overlap and where they overlap the bottom image is going to be glued flat to the card and the top of the image is going to be raised up. This gives a lovely dimension to the card. Where the bottom two cows overlap, I haven't added a dimensional behind the head. Now for this first cow, I've covered it with dimensionals apart from the head, so it's just missing that one. The second cow, I've avoided the top of the head, then I have a row of dimensionals and the bottom part is going to be glued flat. And then for the top cow, you can put dimensionals all over the top half, but leave the bottom half free for the glue. Right, now I can start putting this card together. I have half a standard sheet of cardstock, scored in the middle and folded to create a portrait card, and this is in crumb cake. Then I have a Highland Heather mat and my stamped panel. So the first thing I'm going to do is layer my stamp panel onto my Highland Heather mat. Now if you want to, you can go ahead and glue this panel onto the front of your card base. I'm not going to though, I'm going to build my stack of cows first before I do that. So you want to remove the backings from the dimensionals on the reverse and then position your bottom cow where you want him, towards the bottom of the card. For the middle cow, again remove the backings from the dimensionals and then add glue to the bottom half. Now because we haven't put a dimensional behind that first cow's head, we can just slot this one into place. Oh, sorry, that was the postman. So we can slot this one into place behind that first cow and just press him down and then again remove the backs from the dimensionals on the final cow add glue to the bottom portion of him 
and then slot him into position behind that middle cow. And press him down. To finish off, I'm just going to slot a dimensional behind each of the bottom two cows heads just so they're supported and raised up. And then I can go ahead and add this completed panel onto the front of my card base. I have a Whisper White mat to go inside the card and I've already stamped and coloured the image onto there and I coloured it in exactly the same way as I showed you previously. So I'm just going to add glue to this and then position it inside the card. And that's it, we're all done. So here's my completed card, super cute. And my original one. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this project. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notifications bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Bye for now.